think of the biggest rivalry on the market right now? Apple and Samsung is a big one. Huawei and Xiaomi have been at it for years. Well, what about the guy who co-founded OnePlus and turned it into a flagship killer brand that the whole world respected? Yeah, that sounds like Carl Pei and the Nothing Phone 1. Currently accepted as a mid-range phone, how will it measure against the mid-range camera of OnePlus, the Nord 2? If you would like to support us and help out in growing the channel, a simple like and a sub would do so much for us guys. That being said, a new feud is developing between two mid-range smartphones, so let the facts speak. We reviewed the Nord 2 before and one of its main characteristics of its camera that I noticed back then was the high level of sharpness in its photos. While this can help you catch some extra detail, it can also make the photo look artificial, which is the dilemma that we're currently facing. There are instances where this sharpness and brightness can save a photo though, as a Nothing Phone 1's passive stance can sometimes allow the shadows to take control. The Nord 2's method of doing things can also be an advantage in dark and cloudy weather, but I don't think this level of sharpness helps the cause that they set out to achieve. Consistency is another topic that I'd like to talk about, since the competition until this point could have gone either way. While both phones produce photos from time to time that end up being better, I must admit that the Nothing Phone 1 looks more consistent when it comes to color accuracy as well as looking nicer overall. I personally like the sharp photos, but end up appreciating them more if there's a balance. OnePlus doesn't really provide this balance, and while there are more details in their photos, they don't always end up coming out the right way. Switching the lens, I don't think anyone is going to be expecting much from the ultra-wide photos since they're coming from phones that are around the $400 to $500 mark, which I mentioned in the previous Nothing Phone 1 comparison as not being enough to upgrade the hardware for secondary lenses. If I had to pick one though, the photos on the left are kind of looking nicer even though there's not a big difference, so nothing is going to be dealing the first blow by taking the photo category. I'm definitely wondering which one's software is going to be better optimized for portrait photography though, so let's size them up. I do see some similarities to the photo section, mainly the never ending sharpness that the Nord 2 applies to his footage. The bokeh is also an important point to talk about, as when it's really aggressive, similar to the Pixel 6 series, then the photos kinda lose the portrait feel that I personally wanna see. In a couple of photos, the Nord 2 has these shining lights in the background and I've no idea where they came from, but I think it's obvious to everyone that they shouldn't be there. In this one, the photo on the right is too dark, and this is an inconsistency because the other photos of the Nord 2 don't really have this issue. Switch it around and the Nothing photo is way too dark this time. I think you understand what I'm getting at, which is that neither of these phones are perfect, or even close to it, because portrait photography software is one of the hardest things to optimize when releasing a phone. But here's the thing, when you think about just what exactly you're expecting from these two, I'd say that overall, they're both good enough to pass the bar. While portrait selfies do look better on the OnePlus, purely because the photos on the left are way brighter than they need to be, the overall quality of portrait photos taken with the rear camera will push me towards the Nothing Phone 1. It was really close though, and by no means would I say that one is way better than the other. So we were right at the Achilles heel of the Nothing Phone 1 videos. Let me just start off by saying that I have no doubt that if they fix these small vibration issues regarding stabilization, this phone has the potential to be a very good camera phone, which is an amazing feat to achieve considering they're selling it for less than $500. We just need to wait for some software updates because while the quality of the video is quite good, the footage as a whole has issues with the constant shaking. The quality difference between the two becomes even more apparent in the second video because the boat is quite sharp and clear on the left while the same really can't be said for the one on the right. I would have still preferred if the video of the Nothing Phone 1 was brighter here, but I'm not going to have any complaints for the ultra wide video as I just don't like the Nord 2's performance. Even though Nothing should have easily overtaken OnePlus here, these constant jitters and vibrations are a big problem that they need to solve as soon as possible, which is why I'm giving a tie for this category due to also taking the usability of the footage into consideration. When this issue is fixed, we'll definitely let you know in later videos. To zoom or not to zoom? That is definitely the question when your phone doesn't have an optical zoom lens. I like how 2x and even 3x looks usable on both devices, but things quickly start to pixelate after that level. When you're holding a device at this price range, you're not expecting good results after a few levels of zoom anyway, and they're all equal all around the board for this category which will once again end in a tie. We're gonna keep moving forward in risky territory though, as I have no idea what kind of results we will get with macro modes that can be best classified as average, or even non-existent because the Nord 2 doesn't have one unlike the previous version of this phone, which wasn't that good to begin with to be honest. The Nothing Phone 1 is the obvious victor in this category as well, and the selfie camera 
camera category is up next. I could even leave choosing the winner up to you in this one because the photos are pretty similar in quality. I personally don't have a problem with either of them and the front camera video is as expected, not the best quality with the most optimized software. The constant shift of the brightness is an issue in daylight scenarios, but they're good enough for basic social media usage. What they're not good enough for though is movement as the stabilization of the OnePlus Nord 2 is all over the place when the active mode is not turned on. We've also obviously got the same jittering and shaking problem here on the left side as stabilization turned out to be really underwhelming. Even with the extra stabilization active, the Nord 2 can't really hold the frame still, and while the Nothing Phone 1 can, I don't see this footage being usable. Strike up another tie here and answer this question. Heads or tails? I'm not sure how the coin landed so I can't give you an answer, but as someone who prefers a minimum of 240fps for slow motion, the Nord 2 will take its first point here with a better slow motion feature. What about autofocus though? Well, slowing down the frame should show you the Nothing Phone 1 focusing way faster on the background as soon as I disappear from view, and there's actually almost a second difference between them. This will net nothing its fourth point. It's round two, and we're going to be doing a quick audio mic quality test of the Nothing Phone 1. And in this comparison, it's going to be up against one of the mid-range phones of OnePlus, the OnePlus Nord 2. This phone was also built with the flagship killer mentality in mind which one has a better mic quality and which one has a better noise cancelling. I guess there's no point in even discussing this one because not only does the Nord 2 have a decent microphone, the Nothing Phone 1's mic is just not good at all. Throw over another point to OnePlus so we can get on with the night footage and finish this video. OnePlus's night mode kind of impressed me at first because it can turn really dark photos into usable ones by tuning down the street lights and highlighting some areas that shadows completely take over. But then I realized it was the exact opposite in some photos. There are instances where one phone is way better than the other, such as this photo where the tunnel in the background is completely blown out on the left. If this was something consistent, then I'd be more comfortable with addressing it and talking about some standards but at this point, what kind of photo you'll get is kind of based on luck because the results vary so much. More often than not, both phones look good enough though, except instances like I mentioned where the photo on the right just looks worse. I could keep this going until the morning, but eventually, it comes to a point where you'll have to choose which one you like more, as there aren't any set traits that we can really comment on with these phones, except the sharpness on the Nord 2 that I already mentioned way back in the photo section. In the first video, while it does look like the Nothing Phone 1 is struggling with the lights in the background, there's a lot of noise on the footage of the Nord 2, which will continue on with the next videos, regardless of whether you're shooting in wide or ultra wide. What especially got my attention was that in the last video, the quality difference is really a Apparent as OnePlus's video is quite underwhelming, which will result in nothing getting the point for night due to shooting better videos. Thanks guys for watching until the end of our mid-range comparison where we fully looked at the new Nothing Phone 1. The winner is a device that I just mentioned with 5 points, while the Nord 2 got 2 points just like its name. 4 categories ended in a draw as we round things up with my classic outro of asking you to like this video and subbing to our channel if you enjoy tech reviews and camera comparisons. The next video is coming up soon, so stay in touch.